Hey, does this video really show a giant shark that was netted by fishermen? Or are we just looking at something really big and fake? I've got the answer to that big haul, plus answers to a whole bunch of mind-bending pictures that you guys sent in. Like this picture of a giant underwater pig with six legs, a photo that claims to show a snake with glowing skin, a crazy picture that wants us to believe this tree really ate that bike, and that doesn't even include the big story this week about a Google Earth photo that just may have captured a living megalodon shark on camera. As you must be aware of by now, unless this is like the first video you watched on this channel, I got an ongoing contest of sorts surrounding the legendary Megalodon, which supposedly went extinct millions of years ago. I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't get at least three submissions from you guys offering evidence that we still have Megalodons living in this world. Can you imagine finding a shark that's three times larger than the biggest great white shark out there? A beast that ate whales for breakfast? A monster that had teeth bigger than some laptop computers? So far, I'm sad to say that every single submission that's come in has turned out to be, yeah, fake. And you know, that really hurts because as skeptical as I am about megalodons, I really want to find a real one. I really want to be converted into a believer. And that's why I went, whoa, when this picture came. The picture was sent in by KillerKidDB51, who just wrote, Bill, I think I have some new evidence for you. Okay, Killer Kid, thanks for sending this one in. I got high hopes on this one, so let's check it out. A quick reverse image lookup shows us this picture has spread all over the internet. It's being used on Pinterest, YouTube, and even Google Earth itself under the title, Searching for Sharks in Street View. I clicked on that hoping we could get some location information from Google Earth, but as luck would have it, they didn't even include the picture in their roundup of shark finds. Some other searches on videos using this picture as thumbnails didn't produce any results either, as most of these videos didn't even discuss the picture. Megalodon, the serial killer of the seas. Hmm, so let's see, what do we got here? We got a whole bunch of people out there using this picture. But on the other hand, as we've learned here on Real or Fake many times, just because a lot of people are talking about something doesn't necessarily mean it's real. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Taking a closer look at the picture, I did find a location marker in the lower right-hand corner of the picture, and it read, New Bright Airport Parking. As soon as I read that, I was like, hey, you know, that sounds awfully familiar. But then it suddenly hit me. I know where that is. I've been there. That airport is on Cat Island in the Bahamas, one of my favorite islands in the whole world. This is where I stay when I go there. And it's so good. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm kind of like getting off the track here, aren't I? Well, you know, look, it's just that I'm so freaked out about this. I mean, I could have been standing in the water playing a mobile game or something, and I'm only a few feet from a megalodon. Can you imagine? I still got chills going down my spine just thinking about it. But anyway, once I figured out where this was, I was able to take those GPS coordinates and plug it into Google Earth to get the exact same view of this picture showing the megalodon. And thanks to doing that, I now have this, the official answer. But if you watch this show, you know it's strictly against the rules to reveal what's in here until you reveal what's up here, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can to the real okay. Now, if you can't do that because, well, you might get in a little trouble or something, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there very quietly, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you are right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. You ready? And go.
Okay, did you vote? Good, because in just a few seconds, we're gonna be opening up the old envelope right here and finding out if we finally found some real evidence of a real Megalodon out there. But first, I've got a couple other mind-bending realer fakes I wanna test you guys on. First up is this hard to believe photo. It was sent in by Syed Ahmed who wrote, is this pig looking creature for real? Well, Syed, can you say, so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. I mean, at best, it comes from a Disney movie, right? I mean, come on, how many creatures have six legs that look like that? And what about that nose? It looks like one of those things you stick in your sink to stop food from going down the drain. Anyway, are you guys on the same page with me? Did you vote fake? All right, let's find out what the real answer is. And the official answer is, the crazy creature in the picture is real. Uh -huh. Thanks to Marinus Kramer and Marley Hansen on Facebook, we now know this is a microorganism that comes from the tardigrade species, also known as water bears. They are one of the toughest living creatures on the planet in that they seem to be indestructible. Next up is this amazingly beautiful snake that has skin any species would be jealous of because it glows. The picture was sent in by O'Neilloy de Barrow 2 who wrote, Hey Bill, is this a real snake that glows? Okay, O'Neill, you ready to own it? All right, because I got the official answer right here, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, Hands down, real. I mean, isn't that, I mean, it's so typical of something nature would do because, you know, nature just sits around for millions of years, you know, cooking up new ideas all the time. So let's see if I'm right. And more importantly, let's see if you're right. Okay, the official answer is, the picture showing the snake with glowing skin is real. Wow, another real. Thanks to Facebook researcher Catalin PT, we now know this is a white-lipped python that lives on islands in southeastern Asia and can grow up to 2.1 meters or about 7 feet. A lot of people on Facebook suggested this snake might be a sunbeam snake, but that didn't turn out to be the case. Our last picture today is this odd little number. The photo claims to show a bike half eaten by a tree. The picture was sent in by J. Anthony Tomines, who just asked, Bill, is this picture real or fake? Well, Jay, you know, I think the crazy thing is if somebody did leave their bike leaning against a young tree like 100 years ago, I could see where the tree would grow up and kind of, you know, grow around the bike and everything. But what I don't understand is how a bike could just lean against a tree all that time with nobody saying, hey, who owns that bike or returning it to the police or stealing it or whatever. But hey, that's just me. Let's see what the old official answer is here. And the official answer is, the picture showing the bike melted into the tree is 100% real. Wow, we are in a real brigade today. Thanks to my Facebook community, including Marinus Kramer and Atlas Leader, we now know the story. A boy named Don Puzz received the bike as a gift back in the 1950s. Puzz later told the Seattle Times newspaper that he never liked the bike, and when his family moved to a new home, he just left it where it was. The bike has now become a tourist attraction on Vashon Island, Washington. Okay, now that we got all those reels out of the way, what do you say we get back to our other big story today and hope we can go for four reels in a row. You ready? This better be it. The picture showing the outline of a giant ocean creature as seen on Google Earth has been checked against existing verifiable Google Earth coordinates. Based on this information, it is our decision. The picture is... Oh, ready for this? Fake. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I really had my hopes up for this one. As you can see, the actual Google Earth photo showing that area of Cat Island shows no signs of any giant fish whatsoever. This version of the picture is just Photoshop fakery, and I am shocked. 
But hold on a second, I have an update for you guys. After I published this video, a lot of you guys, including Alex KH, Route Terror, and Unstoppable Man, wrote in to question the decision on this one. It was pointed out that the Google Earth photo with the Megalodon was from 2017, and the image I showed without the shark is from 2018. You see, Google updates their satellite photos from time to time, and so if you just go to their website at this point and look at Google Earth, you might be getting a picture from 2018 or 2019. I haven't checked that part of it. But anyway, going back to Google Earth, you see this bar here? This will let you scan through time to see all the different satellite pictures that were taken by Google Earth. With this tool, I looked through every satellite photo that was taken in 2017, and well, I'm kinda sad to report that there is still no evidence of a single photo in 2017 that shows a gigantic shark. Now, in regards to this video, as it turns out, the video is real. We don't know who recorded this video, but we think it was taken aboard a Russian fishing boat. A lot of people have been trying to pass the shark off as a baby megalodon, but in reality, it's a basking shark that sadly became entangled in the net. Hopefully, this kind of accidental catch will end one day with new technology that will stop gentle giants like this from getting caught up in fishing nets.